Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, Sihlen Daba exits scandal. Look, with just a little over a year being on ETV's favorite telenovela scandal, award-winning actress Sihlen Daba has bid farewell to the show. Now, taking to her social media, the actress seemed like she was happy while announcing the news. I mean, she posted a video of her dancing more on that later. But yeah, the former Uzalo and Gomorrah actress exit from scandal came unexpectedly at as she was still warming up to her character to the viewers and fans of the show. Now, Sihle, who has a very long acting career, seemed very happy with her departure from the show. Now, she took to Instagram to actually share the news of her exit. Now, as you can see in that video, she is dancing and it is captioned, and it's an official rap for Tutu Zilegupega. Thank you so much for watching. It's been real. I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this particular announcement and the video itself. You think she is indeed excited to be exiting the show or it's just a video of a happy soul? But moving swiftly along, Sihlen Daba's character of a lesbian was definitely an iconic role, especially during a time where education around gender and sexual orientation is at its peak. Now, viewers fell in love with her character because it was very laid back yet relatable. Now, her role as the businesswoman who held a high position in the family company was breaking boundaries and stereotypes from the usual lesbian roles that we see on television. Now do keep in mind Sihlen Daba in real life she is not gay but she once mentioned that the role was challenging yet educational as well for her and needless to say it does seem that she really had to dig deep within her acting chops in order for her to offer fans and viewers a character that was researched and fully fledged. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what did you guys think about her character on Scandal? Are you gutted that she is leaving? And yeah, definitely all the best to her in future endeavors. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, KO breaks records with Sete. Look, KO Sete is definitely one of the biggest and record-breaking songs in South Africa right now. So yeah, according to the latest report, Sete has broken the radio monitor record by being the first song, local or international, to occupy the number one spot for 12 consecutive weeks since the airplay monitoring company's inception in 2015. So needless to say, the monumental success of Sete has seen the single dominate official charts, radio airwaves and playlists, gaining over 4,000 plays on 88 radio stations across South Africa with more than 400 million impressions and I will put up my hands and say I'm definitely one of those, one of the 400 million impressions. But moving right along, KO is the first South African artist to reach 10 million streams with a single in a record-breaking two months. Risa and the official essay chart marked his huge huge milestone with a plaque. Now speaking about the event, a RISA spokesperson said the following, it is a phenomenal achievement and for the industry as well. We are very proud of him and RISA and SA Charts. We are here to mark this moment and celebrate him. We are delighted that he could join us and receive his flowers. Now KO expressed his excitement by sharing the following, Thank you so much to the Sony team and of course my team. Thank you to Stana, Blackie and all the contributors. Today is a monumental day and receiving a plaque for 10 million streams was something I didn't foresee coming. I also want to share a message, an encouraging message to the upcoming artists out there. Don't give up on yourself. Keep doing what you love and put God first. Bless. Bless indeed and yeah, this week KO retains the number one spot on the South African official streaming chart as number one. Yeah, and as a whole, it got over 10 million streams in South Africa and 14 million streams worldwide. And according to the reports, Sete has a daily average of over 66,000 streams per day. 
Now, apart from that, KO actually recently took to social media to convey his deepest gratitude to his fans for receiving his album warmly. He also went on to mention how he was convinced that Karakara was his only biggest song. However, God had other plans for him with Sete. Which is a very interesting comparison over there. I mean, do get in the comment section down below which is your favorite KO song between Karakara and Sete. I do love Sete, but I think I love Karakara just that little bit more, personally. Our next topic, Big Nas doing it for Armashesha. So when Big Nas member Armashesha passed away, the group actually stopped making music. Now, of course, from us looking from the outside in, it kind of looked like Armashesha was the glue that kept the group together. But yeah, seven years later, its members have reunited and are making music to pay tribute to Armashesha who died in 2015 at the age of 34 due to surgical complications related to an illness that was not disclosed. Now, Big Nas, whose members are Mambinja as well as Danger, released an album for the first time since Armashesha. Now, Danger spoke about the album Armashesha and said that it will be released on Friday, the 25th of November, this Friday that just passed. Now, he said that the late group member has proven to be a good ancestor for them. This is what he is quoted as saying. We believe that he is the one who brought us together again. He loved our group and wouldn't want to see us splitting. After his death, we didn't split, but we decided to focus on our projects as individuals. And I don't think Armashesha was disappointed by that. I believe he gave us his blessings because we did very well as solo artists. Now that we are together, together again we also believe he is the one who reunited us he hated conflict he always preached peace among us Look, I will say from that statement from Danger, it does seem that uh, Arma Shesha was indeed the bond, the glue that kept the group together. But yeah, I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about their latest album, if you have heard it. I did hear the single that they released last week, uh, Nye Kef. It did take me back. I enjoyed the song. I mean, it's just growing on me little by little every time I play it. But focusing more on the album, Danger also went on to say that uh, they have various artists who featured on the album, including Babes with Duma, of course. Danger went on to say, with this album, we are reminding our fans about us. We also managed to get the songs we recorded before Arma Shesha died. We never used those songs, but we are happy that we included them in our new album. Arma Shesha's voice is heard on the songs. We can assure ourselves that this album will do good because we have Arma Shesha as an ancestor watching over us but yeah i mean do get in the comment section down below if you've listened to the album let me know which is your favorite song and also just let me know which is your favorite big nas song of all time for me it's still umli i don't know i just that song has a special place in my heart our next topic concerns over cyan bougie's bbl Influencer and DJ Cyan Bougie has been very open about her body getting cosmetic surgery. However, Twitter users have raised concerns following a video that she shared while preparing her food. So yeah, it does seem that Twitter users are certainly divided following a video of Cyan Bougie preparing herself some food. Now, what has gotten the Twitter users talking is the amount of oil-based ingredients that the influencer used while making her chicken. So yeah, it does seem that Cyan Bougie has opened a can of worms uh, <laughs> where she finds herself in the middle of a controversy over her food choices which is uh, very weird so all of this kind of stems from this particular post. Cyan marinated her chicken in mayonnaise, tomato sauce, and oil. Then she fried the chicken in more oil with some crying emojis over there. Now at this point, I will say I was curious exactly what this user was talking about. So uh, another user actually posted the following. Guys, and that lady is not lying with some laughing emojis. So let me play that video clip for you guys real quick of Cyan Bougie preparing her meal.
This is literally a full plate already. I didn't eat the whole day, guys, so. Look, that is a big ass plate of food. I mean, I do eat a lot, but that is that is a mountain of food right there on the plate. I will say this. I mean, she does use a lot of sauce, a lot of uh, ketchup, tomato sauce, whatever you want to call it. Maybe she sponsored. I don't know, but she kind of used it quite a lot throughout the video. And just, you know, generally a lot of sauces. But uh, at the end of the day, it does look delicious. I mean, look at her biting and digging in there at the end. Now, of course, I suppose Twitter uses concerns about her meal and her food choices that, you know what, she's using a lot of oil-based stuff. And I suppose they're under the impression that uh, whatever she did, uh, body cosmetics and all of that stuff, she will go back to what she looked like before she had such surgeries and things of that nature. Now, she does mention in the video that uh, this is her one meal, her first meal of the day. Now, if she's on an old man type of diet, like eating once a day, I don't think she's going to gain all that much weight wait but hey i'm not a dietitian i'm not a doctor so do not quote me on that so taking a look at some of the reactions on social media one user wrote cyan bougie is 100 going to go back for maybe round 20 of liposuction because my girl believes in low vibration plates more than she believes in herself all right another user wrote this tweet ain't hating guys cyan did bbl she has to watch what she eats and even exercise here and there to keep it in balance so she's saying she's not doing that i mean i will say this i do hear what that user is saying it seems like some genuine concern for cyan bougie and her bbl body another user wrote cyan going to her surgeon for more lepo after cooking unhealthy nonsense <laughs> Uh, another user wrote i'm so sorry even after the second surgery i'm still not liking science new body why are her hips so close to her chest the crying emotion let me watch that video again to see her hips and her chest <laughs> proportions guys the things that people notice on social media ne? But yeah, I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about Cyan Bougie's meal and her BBL. And are you concerned about it that she might be going back to the surgeon again and again and again? But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.